Wake up and you eat and you eat and you eat. That's exactly for the whole day. For the whole day. And then maybe you walk around for a bit. Walk around, get some steps in, burn some cows, and you come back and what do you do? Eat. You eat, you eat, you eat, you eat. Yep. And that's how you do a cruise. <laughs> feelings about this boat and this whole experience are very conflicted because despite the fact that I've never really been interested in cruises, I'm having a fantastic time and maybe in some years from now when I'm older this may be an avenue I pursue. If I was going to go on a cruise it would be one like this that assures me that what I'm doing is having the least impact possible given what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and I'd like to think that the other guests here take comfort in that too. At least I hope. One of the reasons I work for Lindblad National Geographic Cruise Lines is that we're actually an expedition cruise line. So instead of having big, huge ships, we have a smaller, more intimate experience, and we really focus on educating travelers as we explore the world. We go to these incredibly remote, sometimes pristine places, so that we can teach people about why they're so important. There's a huge emphasis on the natural history of these places. And our hope is that if we educate people, we can all appreciate these places a bit more and bring that home with us um, so that we're responsible travelers, that we can make better decisions based on what we've learned and hopefully see a more sustainable world or at least make more environmentally conscious decisions. One of the main things that we need to take care of is the food waste and we can do our part. Tonight's dinner represents how they can create with their creativity, how they can manage to serve a wonderful meal, but use the maximum yield of the ingredients. I'm my name is Ruslan, I'm sous chef of Decay in Tapai restaurant, and I'm very happy to see you in our restaurant for this special dinner. Um, you can open now. <laughs> Thank you. Tonight we had this cabbage, caramelized red cabbage, and I decided to keep the leaves when I peel cabbage, because the first leaves, usually when you clean the cabbage, first leaves, all, everybody, most of the shells, they throw in the garbage without any thinking, straight away to the garbage. So we decided to keep them, and from them we make it a sauce. So look very nice. Your plate look much better, zero waste. So. This cabbage we didn't throw not in the garbage. Can you imagine a couple of years ago we just threw this in the garbage now we create very nice soup and the guests like wow we save money, we save the food waste and we make happy guests. If everybody start follow this program I believe we change this for we change this planet as well to the good to the good way. Composting can be complicated because um, there's a risk of, if we were to bring our, our organic materials ashore in a different place than where we would source the food, we could inadvertently be bringing invasive species into a different environment, into an island. Instead of composting, that food waste is um, pulped and it can be discharged at sea. It's essentially at that point just fish food.
Galapagos with the Farm to Table program. What we do is we have full dedicated meal with, with I would say 95% of the ingredients are from the Galapagos. The other five will be the, the salt and the rice that you cannot grow there. And guests love it because they feel really, I mean, the impact that they're doing by not only choosing to travel with us, but also because they see that they are helping the community. Everywhere we go, we want to help the communities. And that's part of, of Esben Limblad always wanted to give back because that's what really makes an operation sustainable. If you want to go back to the places, you need to have a good relationship with the community. Can a cruise be sustainable? I think it could be responsible. And I think that the, the value of what we bring to the world is greater than the damage that we may be doing. I understand how this works for some people, and I understand why people do it. And I think that cruises are kind of a fact of life at this point. So as long as cruises are inevitable, I think we can at least take steps to do it um, in the least impactful way possible. And I think it's safe to say that Lynn Blad is doing that in the best ways that they can right now. But you know what? I'm not afraid to say it. Hopefully uh, in a few years from now, this boat will be electric.